What sort of camera system do I use? Lighting system do I use? Microphone do I use? And you know, usually I answer the comment section down below, but now uh, I'm going to make a quick um, list of things I use. And I would like to begin with the camera. Now, since the camera is filming us right now, you cannot see the camera, but you can see the box of the camera. It is a Sony, and it's a Sony Alpha 5100. What is very important and special about this camera, if you are in particular a YouTuber like me, is the fact that you um, get to flip the control screen on the camera, as, as is happening right now, and you see yourself while you're filming. So, I can't do it because we're filming with it, but I can show you in the picture here. This is how the camera looks like. And then, when you flip the screen up, there you have it, you're kind of looking at yourself while you're filming, which is very, very, very practical. Because um, you need to kind of control more or less if you're centered or not centered, then you gotta know if you're coming in too close, if you're overlit or not. I mean, if I were to put my hands here, then I wouldn't be, but otherwise, you catch my drift. It's very important to be able to control everything you're doing. You also have the Wi-Fi capabilities with the camera, so you could connect also to an iPod Touch or iPad or smartphone or what have you and uh, be able to monitor your movements also off of that screen, but not just that, and this is something that was very important for me when I'm on the go and filming uh, anywhere, except for the fashion bunker, because in the fashion bunker I have more stable things, but um, the Wi-Fi, again, comes in extremely handy because every single uh, piece of data that is stored on this camera uh, after filming can be transferred to, you know, I personally, like I transfer to my iPod Touch, for example, where I do some of the editing wirelessly. It has a wireless transfer capability of transferring your videos to your mobile device, which is super quick. And once I have it on my, it depends how long the video is. I mean, if it's a 20 minute video I'm shooting, then it's gonna take me like three minutes for it to transfer. Then once it's on my device, I edit it. Then I have like a lot of different software, I mean, apps on the um, iPad, iPod Touch that I use to edit the video. So there's like, if you do not wish to connect this camera to a computer because you don't want to drag too many things along with you while you're on the go and filming, this camera is heaven. Let's get as close as possible so you could see it, guys. Um, if you're interested in getting this camera, you could check out the link that I have uh, placed in my comment section, and not in the comment section, the description box right underneath the video. So this camera, is particularly this kit, is what I began with when I just kind of purchased it for the first time. It's a starter kit, so you do get the camera, which is kind of a new generation of like digital SLRs. It's not an SLR, it's a digital hybrid of it. It doesn't have, you know, the, the little mirror that, that's flickering inside. But to me, it, 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 does, it, it works its wonder and its magic because I'm really liking very much the results that I see when I film my videos. I hope you do too. Um, the starter kit allows you and enables you to start filming immediately, which means that you get a lens to go with the camera. And yes, the camera has detachable, det det detachability if you want, so you could kind of purchase all sorts of lenses as long as they are E-mount lenses. You can't go, you know, get Nikon or get a Canon and just like attach it to the Sony. It has to be an E-mount lens. Now, I also purchased an extra lens. <clears throat> I'll get to it in a second. But first of all, if you purchase the starter kit, you're, you're good to go. You come home, you charge a battery, or, or you have to, well, that's the thing about Sony, you gotta purchase your extra cables if you want to have the possibility of attaching the camera directly to the electricity socket, otherwise you have to kind of recharge the battery all the time. You could also purchase a bigger battery if you wanted to kind of live longer, you know, all that, all the jazz. But um, the starter kit comes with a smaller lens. Uh, it has, uh, what's the strength of it, let's just see f3.5 to 5.6 however um, for many people that are on YouTube and also want people who like to do beauty shots also if you're just you know I don't know on some other platforms filming yourself um, the f point should be as low as possible 1.8 is the one that's in use and that's the lens that we're using right now as we're filming uh, it's an extra lens that I had to purchase 
separately. Link to this one is also in the description box down below. Check it out if you're interested in this lens in particular. Because of the 1.8, uh, you have this possibility of blurring the background and focusing the detail that you're focusing, meaning the face, the eyeball, the, the nail, if you're showing nail, whatever you're showing, you get that kind of aesthetic, slight touch of a movie vibe of a focus point that you're interested in and everything else behind you is unfocused. Now, I have noticed one thing. Now, with all of these digital cameras, and this is um, this is the thing about all of these, like, HD cameras in general that are digital recording, they, they really heat up very, very fast. And I do not understand why almost nobody on YouTube mentions this, but they shut down automatically. There is no way it, of having just the camera without building up these huge kind of tricks and it's camotages to, to avoid the camera from shutting off. If you're filming with your camera, no matter what lens you got attached to it, it's gonna overheat at a certain point and shut down. The thing that I have noticed personally is when I was just at the beginning phases of using my camera with a kit lens, with a small lens, it would heat up quicker than it does now with the new lens, which is longer. So you could basically see it this way. If you use the kit lens, which is this thick, I have the feeling the heat kind of condenses and accumulates faster and the sensor inside of the camera just kind of triggers the alarm and it just shuts down. With the longer lens, so we have the comparison between like a lens that thick and that big. Here we have more space in between and kind of when I film, and as, as I'm filming now, um, my camera could go on with the bigger lens with the E-mount lens model SEL50F18 from Sony. With this one, I can film, if I'm lucky, up to 20 minutes without the camera interrupting without the camera shutting down automatically, which is great. After 20 minutes, regardless of the whether or not, you know, it's overheating or it's just going to shut down, it has the kind of timer in, in it. Otherwise, it will shut down because it's overheated. Um, so it's super important to know that. And it's super important for people like me because I tend to film longer videos. And I love to do one shot, one shot videos. I'm not the type of person who's going to edit the shit out of a video and like every sentence is going to have five cuts because every word pronounced differently 50,000 times kind of adds up to be better when it's cut down into one thing. I love the flow. That's one of the reasons why I love YouTube. I love YouTube because I can literally talk to you guys as if, we, if, as if we were live, you know, this is not a movie. So I love to have that direct approach. If a mistake happens, it can happen, but that's part of life too. If we were if we were sitting together at a cafe somewhere, talking, chit-chatting about, you know, a few tile things in life, we would be doing the same. I do try to keep things concise and as tight as possible, obviously, but, you know. Another thing that's very important is the microphone. Now, this camera in particular does not have its kind of socket to attach a microphone to it. The 5100 Alpha model doesn't have that. I think the one above that might have it. I'm not so sure, though. But it's way more expensive, and I did not like the other side effects that that camera has. So I, I definitely would suggest this one. This one is the best for me for YouTube videos, the 5100. Uh, so the trick I use to film the sound, and I'm recording sound right now externally from the camera. Let me show you guys. It's a tiny little microphone from a brand from Australia called Rode, and I use the Smart LAV Plus. Quick start guide to it is right here. And um, this is just to show you the name of it. Repeat it again, Smart LAV Plus Rode microphones from Australia. So it comes in this cute little pouch and uh, you can carry it along wherever you go. It's very small and the trick is you plug it into your smartphone, your iPod Touch, your iPad, whatever. So I'm going to show you how this looks like. I have it plugged into my iPod Touch right now. And I attach the microphone to anything. There. It's really, really small. And now I'm not going to speak too loud because I'm too close to it. And then, and then you move away. It should kind of capture the sound right in front of you. And you could clip it anywhere you want. 
the camera is basically the heaviest part of your transfer and filming because everything else is literally on your smartphone and on the tiny uh, Rode uh, microphone, which in case you cannot have or get, you can still just film with uh, a microphone that is inserted within the camera. I wouldn't really suggest that because kind of I have noticed that there's an echo uh, happening when you do that, especially if you're using other lenses than the one from the kit lens. And I'm talking particularly about the um, E-mount um, 50 uh, lens here, you hear the motor of the camera. And so that would, that would make the camera, that would make the microphone recorded. It would, it would be like a humming, zooming sound, which drives me crazy. But if you have an external mic, that's no problem anymore because the microphone is far away from the motor of the camera. What else is there to say? If, I mean, this, is, this basically covers the basics. Now, if you're interested in any of these products and more, all the links to all of these products for you to be able to start your own YouTube channel are listed in the description box underneath my video. I could make another video if you're interested, you gotta let me know in the comment section. Um, I could go into more detail about lighting because lighting is a whole like story of its own and on its own. And um, oh, there's so many other things to touch base on. Also, you know, the makeup, um, rehearsals. Do you rehearse or do you not rehearse before a video? I mean, there's a lot of things to kind of talk about and discuss. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested. For now, this is the camera I use and the microphone I use. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have, please do a thumb it up. Share it with everybody else. Everybody can also have a possibility, an opportunity to find their own way to film their own videos the best they can and wish. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. No matter what happens, guys, no matter what camera you use, no matter how grainy pixel or not pixel it is, don't you ever give up on love. Love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.